Okay, I got a short video. Um, I want to talk just briefly about... Um, everyone has joined up to one of two cults of Trump. Either a pro-Trump cult, which is where you have to absolutely love him. You know, he can do no wrong. You know, or an anti-Trump cult where he's the worst thing to, you know, this planet has ever had, and you have to hate him and everything like that. And um, it's like people, they're trying to force people to take one of those two sides. And uh, me, I mean, there's, I think there's a lot of people that feel the way I do where they don't hate him, you know, it's, okay. but they don't love him neither. You know, it's like, you know, I look at Trump, average, you know, just average, you know, I mean, he, he was president, you know, I mean, he did good things, he did bad things, you know, but, uh, overall, Trump overall is average, you know, but, you know, so many people, they, it's like, you, you can't say that, because for people who hate him, you know, the people who join the anti-Trump cult, you know, they, uh, if you say anything good about them, anything at all, you know, they want to say, oh, you're a conservative Republican, this, that, you know, they, they want to make it sound like you love them just by saying one or two good things about them. Like, no, just because I said, just because I say, you know, why well, like this, this or that, that he done you know, that Trump has done, that that doesn't mean I love him, you know, and he's that my absolute favorite, you know. And on the other side, for the pro-Trump cult, you can't even criticize him. If you say, uh, you know, well, I don't like when he did this, this, or that, you know, they're like, well, you hate him, you, you hate him, you're a uh, liberal, this, that, whatever. And, you know, they add all this stuff on, like, what? Like, I voted for Trump, you know, I mean, so, I, I mean, you know, and then, uh, uh they, but yeah, they want to say I'm this liberal, this, that, whatever, and I hate him. Yeah, I hate Trump so much, I voted for him, come on, you know, but, uh, I, but to, to be fair, I didn't so much as vote for Trump as I was voting against Biden, so, but, uh, because I, I just didn't want Biden again, but I don't hate Biden, I mean, you know, I, I don't love Biden, but I don't hate him. I mean, I think Trump did a better job. He did much more better than uh, Biden, but he's certainly not the best. He's not the worst. And every time, every president we have, it's like at least every president since um, Obama, I think what they did it with Bush, too. It started at the end of Bush's term all the way up you know, through now, it's like, and I'm pretty sure they did it with other presidents in the past, but, you know, it's like, why force people into these things, into these either pro or anti, you know, where you have to absolutely love them or absolutely hate them, you know, why, why can't you have people who just, okay, I like some things about them, um, why can't I, you know, say, I like so-and-so about a president without people saying, oh, you, you must love him and all this, and you know, and then, you know, why can't I say, you know, I don't like that this president did this or that without everyone saying, oh, well, then you hate him and all this. So like, like, why do they want to say, you know, accuse you, they're saying, you know, why, why do they want to accuse you of hating him if you criticize him or uh, you love him if you say something you like he did, you know, like... It, it just it, it pushes people over the edge, you know. But uh, I am interested to hear, you know, if, if there, are, you know, other people, how many other people feel like I do, where they don't love them and they don't hate them. They're just like, ah, eh, it's average, you know. It's like, you know, and same, really, same thing with Biden. I mean, I can have a preference, you know, one over the other, but I don't hate any of them, any of these presidents, and I don't absolutely love any. I mean. I do have presence in the past I love. I mean, Calvin Coolidge, he was, you know, I really, I really love him. 
uh, Woodrow Wilson. I don't like him at all. None. But I mean, I'm not, I don't force other people into these camps. And if if uh, someone said something uh, they don't like about Coolidge, I'm not going to say, well, you must hate him. And if somebody says something they love about Wilson, Woodrow, Woodrow Wilson, I'm not going to say, well, you know, you, you must, you know, you must love him. You know, it's, you know, it's like they need to stop people, you know, forcing people into one of the two camps, you know. But, uh, yeah, I want to hear, you know, if there's anybody else out there that feel the same way that I do, where they, they don't love them and they don't hate them, they're just like average, you know. He's like, eh, okay, whatever. I <laughs> mean, you know. I mean, that's just how I feel. It's like, whatever. I mean, if I ever shake his hand, great. If not, whatever. Mm. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's all I just wanted to say. I just wanted to get that out there. You know, you know, just just know not everybody either, either or either hates them or loves them. So. All right. Well, tomorrow's New Year's Eve, so happy New Year.